What's going on, Libra? Welcome to your um, rest of April energy. And so, um, this is general, and it's just the energy for April. We'll see. Let me see what you get here with these cards. What is the the energy for Libra? Libra. Libra. Let's see what the energy. Okay. You got four. And I'll take those, but you should only do three. Wow, you have your mind wrapped up in uh, money and um, financial gain or financial status. Maybe there's a job situation here um, and or a plan that you're thinking about. Why are you getting four, Libra? You're the only zodiac sign that gets four. Maybe you're special. I do love Libras, so Libra energy is like really good. Highly recommend it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. For um, the energy that you have going on for April is friends in low places. So you might have some kind of um, hardship with friends and family here. Um, that you have to like help them, support them, um, you know, help them push through. Um, something unfortunate that happens in your circle, okay? Um, that puts your friends down, or maybe an individual that, that is feeling low because of the, um, maybe the drama or maybe the, the, the low vibrational state they're in at the moment. So things that didn't work out for them, maybe. Um, it's draining them as well, but you're there to help them and to help to encourage them to support them to to be that cane and, and and you know allow them to walk forward. That's kind of a beautiful message right there Libra. So do do your thing. I know Libras are very supportive um, I know Libras are a lot of talk, but man, you know that talk will change someone's life Okay, um, and by a lot of talk, I mean that you guys are analytical like you guys like talking you know conversations discussing um breaking things down you know like situations and stuff like that so never mind if you <laughs> i'm not trying to <laughs> i'm trying to be nice okay i'm trying to say that i really like libras that's what i'm trying to say uh time is money is um something here so a uh, time is money could be that um <clears throat> If you're taking vacation, you're getting paid. If um, you know you're thinking about it, you're thinking about um, not wasting time and getting going forward with um, your plans of, of having this this maybe sick, second income or maybe this this primary um, business idea that you're working on. Definitely, that def that energy is definitely there this April. Very very um, noticeable for you. You're gonna get those. Um, like, how do you say, like, ants in your pants, ants in your pants, <laughs> where you want to do something, like, you want to get going, you want to, um, start creating, start, um, you know, something up, like, you don't want to sit on your hands anymore, you don't want to chill, you don't want, you don't want anyone to tell you how to live your life, or how to be successful, how to be in this, um, Maybe if you're in, in, in a career, you feel like limited to how far you can get in life. And now you're thinking about long term. This could also be an opportunity for you to grow and you have to let go of a certain career. I don't know why I'm getting that Libra, but that's something that I get for you and power. So, whoa, whoa, what's going on there? I love that picture of the lion and the lioness. Power is definitely someone backing you up. Your, your female... Um, your male uh, um, partner is backing you up in this whole, you know, shift of trying to get more money and obviously more power. And I think behind a successful, you know, individual is the partner that is very successful as well. So remember that um, if this person is supporting you, remember that. Do your best. Um, take 
control of the situation and, and, and be responsible because this shot is for the both of you. And if you're single, then you're either way, um, your inner self is empowering you to make this choice and this decision. Um, this other card here, it's I like it, man. I like you, Libra. <laughs> money, money talks. So it's like, show me the money. Um, what are we doing? Uh, give me the numbers, and you know, I'll give you the results or something like that. I don't know if that makes sense, but your m April month is about power moves, money moves. Um, if, again, I get like ants in your in your pants where you're like, I cannot just sit here and listen to all these people when I know that I can do better somewhere else, right? Hmm, it could be that, you know, you have also a fear of um, leaving one career for the other, although you know that you're gonna be successful with the other. I think every shift or every, um, I don't know, every move i think you know remember the, the the law of the universe is every action has a reaction and and that's where karma comes in and all that so i mean it's it's good if you trust it go ahead and do your thing libra you know mad support for you hope it works out you know um and whatever move you make give it your best give it your hardest like Give it your all. Don't you just, don't give up. And if you make a mistake, don't give up. Get up, rise, and keep doing it. Like, go back to it. That's something that a lot of people nowadays don't do. Like, they, they get, you know, a negative feedback. Or they get something, they make a mistake. And all of a sudden, their world just darkens. And, and they're not comfortable. They're not. Mistakes are there for you to realize something, okay? So don't be afraid to make that change if this is something that you've been wanting for, for years, for, you know, months. And as far as love, Libra, I have for you, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Here we go. Show us that to you. So there's a lot of healing. It's like releasing a, a negative energy, um, and this is this is a really good time to release all that negative en energy that you hold inside. That way you can give it your give your best shot to this new power move that you're doing. Okay, so remember that. Um, and then I have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This, you know, obviously is about love, but also if you're not dealing with, with love, it's like a second um, affirmation or confirmation of you, you know, going into a higher commitment with those power moves that you're doing, right? Um, and stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Whether you're with someone or you're not, being positive will always bring you love. Being positive will always give you a reason to smile in front of that person you like, you love, you desire, you, you, you know, you, you, you just love being around. So very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And this is regarding love. And if this is, remember what, you know, this kind of goes with, with the, you know, powers, like look at the power couple. So if you, you're dealing with, if you're already in a situation, this person's going to help you push yourself to the next level of your being so this amazing like i said behind every successful you know individual there's um a very very strong and successful strong-minded you know partner next to them so be thankful for this person and 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 let them know how thankful you are to to have them if you don't have a certain person in your life like a love um person in your life then this could mean that um this could mean that uh, that pretty soon you might meet somebody give me one second my candle was kind of going low so i had to move some some wax around <laughs> So the 
you know the flame will get a little bit more room so yeah that's what i have for you so very soon um things are coming this is a lot this reading started with a lot of a lot of affirmations regarding your your april um journey here i'm gonna i'm gonna see the tarot see what we get three cards four there we go wow that was fast it's like they want to speak to you uh libra they want to talk to you um libra april oh my god libra you have an amazing energy it just gets me so excited it gets me super excited to see this type of energy here because i'm my venus is in libra and man i love i just love libra energy um triple confirmation here if you're trying to like do something new libra like two of cups ace of wands six of swords okay it's first of all whatever idea and if this has to be regarding your power move your money your your um your um investments or you know your changing career there's a friend here that's gonna help you move so you might be going into a partnership or you're gonna find someone that is gonna help you um pull this whole thing together or you know make sure that this whole thing goes smooth here you have a friend that wants the best for you um vice versa you want to be equal with them um and you're ready to take on this new opportunity like you decide april you decide that you will start this opportunity you will implement you know um movement towards the list of plans you wrote down months back maybe a year back this is it you're starting it you're doing it the ace of wands is um a new adventure putting you know action towards towards the the the, the whole idea and um the six of swords is like going into better waters um better energy like you were um transitioning from one it was, it's like and i just got it's like you this whole energy shift will make you grow into a whole different person like it's gonna get you you know when people mature and you don't recognize them that's you Libra. but like you are changing based on this energy based on all of this all of this um all of this commitment and all of, of, of this all of these moves are changing you f to something more um stable and hard i don't know why like a hard um like hard ass you know like getting things done when you say you were gonna get them done and not postponing or letting things you know get backtracked backtracked or sidetracked it's making you like i'm getting like um emperor type of vibe like you know what i said goes and how i said it it will happen somehow um it's like yeah you know you want to do this um if this has to if this is uh, regarding love um libra if you're single and you're you're looking for love um or even if you're married or or you know together with somebody this is a lot of energy like the connection is getting bigger better um there's some kind of maybe apology if you guys were fighting or you know coming together and making sense and, and saying i'm sorry i love you but also this is someone for someone that is single you're meeting somebody you have the opportunity you have the chance of meeting someone that will turn from a friend to a lover to a soulmate if possible this is soulmate strong vibes but it could also be platonic but i feel like if you do interact with this person it might turn into a love relationship because we have the, the ace of wands and the ace of wands is a lot of you know um physical um connection by that i mean sex yes sex <laughs> um there's a lot of that going on um you feel very very attracted to this person or this person feels very very attracted to you they i think i think they think you're sexy i think they think 
you're you're pretty much the the, the you know the shit <laughs> you're every especially with all those power moves and and that crazy mind of yours of the way you say things and you explain it and your plan and all that is like very very sexually uh, how do you say it? like when someone gets aroused <laughs> yeah you do that to this person I feel like things will um, start out fast. Start out fast with this person, and then just um, I think it's 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 a journey for you and this person. If you ever, if you guys do become um, together in a love relationship, it's it's gonna be a journey for you guys. It's like a lot of release of old, you know, energy, um, things that you held due to other people hurting you and. You know going into better waters them showing you the path of, of you know peace and love <clears throat> it's a beautiful connection here um, I think everything makes sense in this in this reading here so I'm gonna call it quits there I'm gonna get you an Oracle and have another section real quick give me a sec give me the best Oracle for you bro best Oracle for you bro There it is. Cozy up with risk. Speaking of risk and, you know, power moves, <laughs> cozy up. It's, to me, cozy up with risk and that fire, you know, that flame is, is that, uh, is it like, I think it's a fire, right? A fire pit. Um, it's, 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 this is the moment to, do it this is where the fire is lit and you have to continue this is the best time to continue um working um working on this you know this power move that you're doing so uh 61 is the number so that adds up to a seven google um uh, google number seven and you see what it means and I think it's a lucky it's a power move also a very lucky number so things will happen for you if you do put in the work Libra cozy up with risk essential meaning fearless pursuit of your dreams oh my god that's it <laughs> that was the <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, it says fearless pursuit of your dreams and ability to successfully manage calculated and uncalculated risks, pushing past fear, new opportunities, creative expansion of what's possible, learning to control the monkey mind, learning to bless fear and move ahead anyway. Focus on the goal. Speaking of goals, speaking of this power move that I strongly picked up for you in this reading, it's just, I'm gonna put this here. You can, um, excuse my fingernails because I am a mechanic, so, um, I try to wash them as best as I can, but you can, um, screenshot this and maybe give it a read to see if there's anything here that you can use or implement in your head because I know you like reading, I know you like breaking down things. So, you know, pause the video, take a snapshot if you want and read it as, you know, as you take a breather from all these um, crazy, um, amazing um, moves that you're making here. Um, Libra, this is what I have for you. Now, we're going into a section, I, and this section is called the no contact, the, the no, communication regarding a person from the past so if you've been thinking about a person from the past this is this next section is for you if you don't want to know about the past person please just click away and do your thing um but here we go can we get three cards for and this is going to be a message from the past person that that would like to tell you because you guys are in no contact obviously but this is how they feel about you. This is how, you know, they see you at the moment. What is the message from the past love interest of Libra? Oh, man. That was fast. You are in my dreams. 
they dream about you a lot they think about you they daydream you know in regular dreams they you're present they hear you they they feel your touch that's what i'm getting intuitively here i feel i feel broken so they they might be going through some they lost you libra but there's this person still trying to regain their stability maybe they're hard trying to put it back together maybe the way you guys ended things really affected them and, and and at the moment it wasn't it wasn't that bad but now they're starting to feel and then they're starting to they start to remember this person i mean they start to remember you and now it's like that i really had this with with, with the libra and, and now it's gone you know i wish i could cut the cord again they're very very um still energetically attached to you and it doesn't matter if you're happily married libra this person this past person still thinks about you again if you if you feel like you think about a person a lot um if you see someone's name all over the place or something that you guys love doing whether it you know if it's like um i don't know if you guys i don't know something that unique that you guys liked and all of a sudden you kind of keep seeing it or people keep talking about it it's because they're, they're they're letting you know that they're thinking about you okay for some reason connect the dots and and if you think about this person yeah it is this person that is thinking about you so that's what i have for you libra i hope um everything's good with you and i wish the best in this move and if anything if i could say anything being a, a business owner in the previous do it man it's an amazing journey do things right be honest do things from your heart um you know sketchy energy will get you sketchy results and man karma is very real so um I, man if i wish i was a libra <laughs> i'm a leo but um going back to that uh you know self-employed um superpower type of you know energy uh, where people require like your presence and they need you they need your help is to me is like i would love to go back to that but i'm pretty happy with my tarot channel and i'm not making anything but things are happening so i'm i'm still at it so although i only have libra and my venus I'm here. Here I am, baby. <laughs> I want to wish you the best, um, Libra. Um, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and being part of my channel. Come to my lives on Fridays. If you have a question about a certain thing or a specific thing, then I can give you the answer for free. And this is only for a limited time. It's not going to be forever because I'm going to start charging more power moves. <laughs> have a good one. I bet you find a way to hurt me. You move on you. Told you what that me in the sky that the ever gonna know me.